Hey, this is Avila speaking, doing a One Piece chapter review, and today's chapter is 1040, Wasted Words on a Young Era. And we see a cover page, and it's a flashback of Nigi and Yonji getting beaten up by Big Mom. And I guess they stayed behind, and they're remembering this. So I'm pondering, who's going to come rescue them? That's what I'm pondering. And we start off right where we left off with Big Mom still in action. And we see the hole. And it's, I guess Big Mom is going to fall in this hole. And it appears that Big Mom is still, it's she's tanking that attack. And it's a railgun. We see a projectile. Big Mom is spewing blood, but she's laughing too. And I guess Big Mom is trying to deflect this attack back. And she pretty much states life or slavery. 50 years of their life or slavery. And Big Mom begins to suck the souls of the the father away from her. And sh she's spewing King's Hockey. So I guess she's using her King's Hockey to intimidate them. And I guess Kid and Law... Or not afraid. And which is interesting here is Law is doing another attack. We said in the previous chapter he wasn't. So there's a lot of inconsistency going on with Law. And he does called Reroom. And they're pretty much getting fed up with Big Mom's speech. And this is very, I guess this is nostalgic in a way. And also it opens. To something potentially different. So law mimics. Uh, Corazon's attack. Or power. Where he does si a room. Which is like. In a pocket. Uh, not pocket dimension. But it's silence. A big mom can't speak or give command. And she can't pull out souls. Because she needs to speak for that I guess. And law. Just slices his mother hair. He, he does a backflip and slices her in half. Not only does Law do a different attack here, he does two more attacks where he stated he couldn't. But then again, also, Kid does another damn punk. Another one. He fires another projector, and Big Mom gets hit. Yamato gets interrupted. Big Mom's. Why is she? And so she's not making a noise, so this is a silent like operator. And Big Mom grabs one of the bombs, it explodes. Big Mom uh, Yamato does is like an ice shield, and we see that side action, that power, all powerful side action, and it appears that this this specter thing gets absorbed by Big Mom, because we see it like withering, turning small, small and small, sorry, small and small, and it withers into nothing. But his final words is Lord Orochi. So my theory is that Big Mom absorbed the soul of this thing, if it has a soul. So Big Mom indirectly helping the Straw Heads. And Big Mom starts going into a monologue here. Damn, of all the luck. Hey Roger, why do you have to go and say that? You got the whole world on this great air of piracy. Easy for you, you're dying. But when those kids raise up all over the world, we ones who have to deal with them. So Big Mom's complaining that they have to deal with all the crap that Roger did. And it is kind of true, they have been dealing with it for quite some time for decades along so I guess Big Mom is getting fed up of that and we see like a nuke falling behind Big Mom and the room still following her as she gasps because that explosion did some damage I guess we see Chopper and we see interest in love which opens a huge debate here Baroque and Robin that means the Spectre thing and we see Zoro right after that means the Spectre thing is is serious so what's going on here? So we see Broken Robin. That means it wasn't Broken Robin. And we see Zoro in a different position with a pool of blood. And he's also falling. Which means he's falling in the hole. Because this is happening on the side where he fought. If I'm correct. If I remember correctly. That means he's... I can't see him in the debris. But it appears he is falling down the hole. So that means... 
the whole concept of death and that's potentially real in the world of One Piece. That means a god of death actually exists in the world of One Piece. That opens a huge debate to something else. So we're going to find out what happens. Is Zoro going to die? I doubt it. And then we see with Kumosaki in this. Oh my god. Why isn't he dead? Why haven't she hasn't done anything? Why she has killed this dude? Like Jesus Christ. That's disappointing. And we see the battle of attrition. Uh, Raizo is won. Fukuru Kuju falls in flames. And Raizo is won. And now he wants water. Because he wants to put himself out. So he's won the battle of attrition. That's good. This fight was never important to me. But I guess it happened. And then we go into a very important monologue of Big Mom. And she states, what is it? Where is it? This is off the official translation. Some of it is on this country is too, isn't it? I'm so close. Kid Law, pay for this. Damn. Soon. So Big Mom is not dead. This is what she's getting at. And I'm, I'm pondering. She's falling into the black hole and she seems some sort of white. Why is she seeing some sort of light down there? It doesn't make sense. It should be pitch black. But yet she sees some light. And she, her final words are, don't assume this is going to kill me. And I guess the nuke goes off. And the announcement, uh, the announcement thing announces Eustace Kid and Law as the victors. So Big, what is this Big Mom? This is the explosion. Of, this is going to damage Big Mom. And I don't understand why we see white at the bottom of the hole. That's interesting in its own right. And we see this pretty much a nuke going off. But since the room is silent, the uh, the flower capital doesn't hear it. But I wonder if they can see it. Hmm. Someone must have seen it. But it's huge. So Big Mom is potentially at a commission for the moment. So she's not dead. So that means her potential plot lines are going to be fulfilled. But she's going to be severely weakened. I'm hoping we don't go into no amnesia. Because I'm hoping the reason she sees white at the bottom of the hole isn't because there's water. Because that would be devastating. Because if she goes into say amnesia stuff again because of the explosion. Because she practically has several nukes falling. And I'm looking at this debris if I see Zoro. And I don't see Zoro. Then again he might be here somewhere. And since this is a silent explosion, it doesn't produce a shockwave. So that means Zoro fell, potentially speaking, with Big Mom down there. And I can't see Big Mom, so Zoro. So I don't know where this is going to lead to. And Kid is black die. Law is also a black die, and they appear to be done for. Kid is the only one like facing like completely down, and Law is just keeping the cool pose. And they're declared the victors. And they're celebrating. And then I guess Yamato is communicating with Momonosuke. How are they communicating? Open air. So a single one went off. And that was the one Big Mom stabbed. Oh, they're communicating. Oh, because they're right in front of each other. And they say some lore stuff here. He states, Zunisha is approaching. And Yamato says, all the elephant from the journal, indeed, a companion of Joy Boy who committed a crime 800 years ago. Now the question is, so now, Zunisha was a companion of Joy Boy. This could be that Zunisha is a human being. And this also could mean that what's well, left ambiguous to who the crime was, it was it committed against Joy Boy or committed against someone else? Who, who did she commit the crime against? So that's going to be interesting. A little bit of lore and Yamato here being nice and Momonosuke. So I guess Momonosuke, when Zunisha and Momonosuke were going to have a chat, I guess Zunisa talked to Momonosuke and told him about his past. So I don't know what this crime is. And I don't know what the role of Zunisha is going to be. Truly. But about this victory, I guess, I don't know if it's a true victory because, well, they're going to get, uh, Oda doesn't kill people, so, yes, she's not going to die. So, I guess it is a true victory because they overcame her, but 
Now the question is, how is the credit going to be divided here? Once like the world news gets out, all the announcements, how is this going to be announced? Because it's a, it's a tag team. And then Luffy's doing a 1v1. So, it's going to be strange. Maybe they're both going to be set as Yonko. Kid, independent, law, Yonko. Because two Yonkos are being removed. So there'll be a uh, kid in law would be replacing Kaido and Big, Big Mom, and Luffy would still remain as the fifth Yonko of of the sea. That would be interesting, but it's a great chapter. We see a conclusion to this fight. That means there's no more fights left, is there? I'm probably mistaken, but I think it's just Luffy and uh, Kaido left. So maybe we're just gonna get. Uh, after this chapters of just Luffy and Kaido going all out. Which would be interesting. I wonder how. Because Oda stated that he was going to make. He was going to surprise us the ending of Wano. So maybe Luffy doesn't win. Maybe. Or Kaido joins the Nakama. That's going to be the thing. Anyway this is. Uh, a good chapter. Controversies. Off the wazoo. Because of Big Mom. Especially Law. Stated last chapter, can't use no more attacks after this. Pulls off another brand new move and slices Mother 3000 camera or whatever. Misery, Mother Misery 3000 in half. So, law, hmm. A proficient liar, I would say. And Yamato here. And then I guess this is good. Because this is good. I, I don't know. I don't understand why Big Mom was in the arc to begin with. Unless she's going to be used at the ending of the arc. Because we still, we still don't know what's going to happen with the world government or if the Navy is inbound. And what's going to happen with the Straw Hats once the Navy's get involved. So Big Mom could be their scapegoat. In a way. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. This is a good chapter if you ignore all the controversy. It's a good chapter. The fight's over. That means we only have... Kaido's fight, if there's another fight, I'm forgetting. Because Fukuru Kuju and the Battle of Attrition has ended. So this is great, in my opinions. And also, I guess, Big Mom, I don't understand Kid, because Kid Attack wasn't doing that much damage to Big Mom. Because she was trying to deflect it. So it wasn't piercing her. So Big Mom took a railgun and it wasn't doing that much. So... On a 1v1, Big Mom versus any of these on 1v1, Big Mom will dominate. She'll destroy any of them. Even Broken Law here with his awakening and all stuff. She'll definitely win. Anyway, that's it. It's a great chapter. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Have a nice day.